In this video, I'm going to show you how to use something called content blocks with Django. Basically, this is a way to reuse HTML templates or HTML snippets of HTML so that you don't have to write quite as much HTML. This is kind of one of the core concepts of Django. So first of all, we're going to come into our personal directory here. I'm going to create another new directory or another new folder, and this is going to be called templates. So I'm creating templates that are going to be unique to the personal app. Because remember with Django, we have we have a bunch of apps and then inside those apps are certain pieces of code, certain templates that are unique to that that particular app. So now inside of templates, this is going to seem kind of weird to you, but we're going to create another new folder and this one's going to be called personal. We need to create this because in our settings dot pi file right here we told django to look inside of all directories that contain the keyword templates and then later we need to be able to differentiate between apps so like if i had a different app and it also had a folder named templates it would then have another directory with the app name it's just going to help us kind of separate templates and help django find the templates that we're talking about so just kind of do this for now and then later when we when we build more apps it will make more sense now inside of personal, I'm going to create a new file. So I'm clicking control S on the keyboard and I'm calling it home.html. This is gonna be the HTML for the home screen. So personal templates, personal home.html. And here's where we're gonna make use of the Django content blocks. So the first thing I wanna do is write these, this is gonna seem kind of like strange notation to you. I'm sure you've never seen this before. Basically, this is a piece of code that the HTML will not render on the screen. It's telling the project that I'm, I'm gonna insert some kind of Django logic here. And I'm writing a keyword extends, and I wanna extend this by base dot html just stay with me here this is going to seem kind of weird but it's going to all come together at the end so now i want to do this again i'm inserting kind of another django block here i'm going to call this block content so i'm defining a a uh, a block a content block and i'm it's i'm giving a name as content so uh, you don't actually have to give it a name you could like call this anything it doesn't really matter but the convention is to call it content so i'm going to call this this one end and you want to go end block content so i'm starting a block and i'm ending a block and then inside here is where you can put some kind of code so inside here i'm going to do uh, this is the body because it's going to become the body of the post i'm going to create a p tag and inside the p tag here is where you put stuff that should be in the body of your websites just writing kind of some random stuff just so we have actually something to show and I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add something called a div. And I'm going to put the h1 and the p inside this div. Uh, basically, if you're not familiar with HTML, a div is something that allows you to break up pieces of pieces of the HTML, I guess, into sections. And then you can give those sections certain properties. Or you can give them you know, different styling, which is what we're going to do here. So I'm going to use the style attribute. And I'm going to give this, this piece of html a border so i'm saying give this a border i want the border to be two pixels in depth i want it to be a solid line and i want the line color to be black and if you're not familiar with css or you're not familiar with html that's going to seem really weird to you just kind of do it for now um, i haven't decided whether i'm going to go into depth on like html and css stuff later in this course but um but we'll see we'll see how it goes so anyway what this is going to do is if you look at our website it will actually draw a border around the body, which is what you'll see in just, uh, just a second here. So making sure to press Control S to save that file. Now I need a way to reference this, because right now, or I guess I need a way to display it inside the base.html file. Because right now, if I go into our base.html file, whoops, uh, there's no way to reference this home.html file. But what I want to do is I want to insert it inside the body. Well, how I can do that with Django is I want to do block content, just like I did in the uh, home.html file, and I'm gonna write end block content. And now uh, there's only one more step, but basically what we're doing is we're inserting this HTML inside of base.html. I'm saying extend by base.html, so it knows to look at this file, and then it's saying put this stuff, or actually put this stuff inside wherever you see a block content, and right here is where you see the block content. So basically what it'll do, it will insert it right here where my cursor is. Now the last step is going into the view because right now the view is extending or it's using the template base.html but we want to reference that home HTML file that we just created. So now it will look inside of personal home 
it's already going to look inside templates. So we don't need, that's why we don't need to put templates here because we've defined that in the settings.py file. But we need to write personal because it's inside templates, then inside personal, and then it's, in, then it's the uh, home.html file. So now if I save this and I was to refresh the page, you should see that being updated. So there's that border that I drew around the body. We have this is the body. Here's where you put stuff that should be in the body of your websites. Now this might not seem super significant to you right now, but it's it's actually one of the most significant things about Django. It's actually sort of one of the hallmarks of Django, I would say, because now this base.html file, I basically never have to open this again. All I'll ever do is create different HTML files, uh, extend them by base HTML, and then insert block content. So you can imagine like on a real website, you're gonna have a footer and you're gonna have a header, and these things will basically never change. The only thing that really changes is the body. So if I was to like look at codingwithmitch.com, for example, uh, you know, this navigation bar never changes. No matter what screen I navigate to, still there. If I go to the blog, still there. All that stuff is still there, just like the footer. The footer is also still always there. So that's kind of what this is accomplishing. We have this base.html file where the header is always going to be the same, which is usually where like the navigation is going to be inside the header. Uh, the footer is where you kind of put stuff for the bottom of the website. And then the stuff that changes is the content in the middle, which is it, which we can kind of swap in and out using these uh, block content things. So that's what you do. You extend, you add a block content, put whatever content you want, and then you can uh, return the view that you want that content to be displayed in. Also, I guess just kind of for for clarity and just so you guys can can see kind of what a visual looks like. Whoops, I'll actually add, um, I'll add some styling to the footer and also the header. So I'm gonna add the exact same styling. I'm gonna add a border, two pixels. It's gonna be solid and the color is going to be black. I'm going to add this into there. I'm going to copy this and I'm gonna paste it up here and do the same, same exact thing for the header. Just like, just like that. So now if I save that, you'll see the, the header being separated. Whoops, this is codingwithmitch.com. You'll see the header being separated from the body and also the footer. So there's a container for the header, the body, and the footer, just to kind of give you a visual. Obviously, this isn't the styling that you want in your finished product for your website. I'm just putting it there to help show you the different sections of the website. Now, before we move on, I want to show you one more thing. And actually, I'm going to use codingwithmitch.com as an example again, just like I did. So uh, many pages on your websites will have similar, they'll have similar stuff. So like if I was to go to, uh, I guess I'll go to one of the free courses. If I was go to go to any one of these courses and I click on any of these lectures, so all any one of these lectures, doesn't matter, I'm not logged in. So if I go to any one of these lectures, um, all of these screens are the same. So if I go to the next lecture, this screen is the same as the previous one, uh, which is the same as the next one. It's all the same sort of, it's the same sort of view. It's the same view that's getting reused. It's just different data. It's got a different title, a different video, different, you know, different updated, different source code, different download. Everything is, uh, everything is different, but it's the same sort of outline. So you can use something in Django called snippets if you're ever going to be reusing things kind of over and over again. And I'll give you an example. So I'm going to go inside of the personal directory, go and create another new folder. This is going to be called snippets. And inside here, I want to create another new file, pressing Control S, and this is going to be called, I'm just going to call it something random. I'm going to call it body snippet.html. Now inside here, I just want to put some kind of random code. This is a code snippet. I'm inserting this into a template. Sure, just some random stuff. Doesn't matter what it is. I don't need to extend it. I don't need to add any block content, nothing. Basically, it's just some code that I expect to be reused. Now I'm going into home.html and inside of my div with the border, I'm going to write uh, some more kind of Django stuff. I'm going to write include and now I want to reference that snippet. So personal dot uh, personal dot snippets is the directory and then the snippet name, which is body snippet dot HTML. And these are surrounded by quotations. So now if I save that and I go back to my uh, my project and I refresh, you'll see that there is the code snippet being inserted. So this might not seem that impressive to you, but if you have data that's being reused over and over and over again, you this is this is very convenient. It's like a little piece of code. Um, you know, if if this was huge, for example, like if this was you know uh, I don't know a hundred lines and. That not 100 lines is going to get reused over and over and over again. It's kind of stupid to have it inside of this because it just clutters things. 
it's better to kind of break things up into these little snippets and then reuse them to help keep everything really clear and concise. Now in the next video, I'm gonna give you an introduction on how to pass variables and data to the HTML file from the views.py backend files. So literally what we're gonna have is the views and we're gonna have some variables in here. And we're finally gonna make use of this context parameter and pass some data to the HTML templates.